It's wait, right. speaker front cards, right? Right. Okay. Chips and computers. Um, and one of the reasons I would always suggest you buy the extended warranties on micro anything with your high tech, the smaller, and of course, everybody loves the smaller, the better. But uh, a lot of people don't realize what goes into making these microchips and how easily they can be damaged. So I always buy the extended warranties because these were the first computers. Um, I believe that was the first desk computer. Uh, this one had all the lights for the binary, so, I mean, they were fairly big. And um, you would think the cleanest rooms you would find nowadays would be like in a hospital or a laboratory. But actually, the cleanest places in the world are the microchip manufacturing plants. I've worked for 30 years in this industry, and they are cleaner than any lab you would work in. There may be boxes that are clean, but I'm speaking of a whole room. Um, in a normal room, you would have um, 200,000 to 10 million particles per square, per cubic foot. You can't see 97% of them. So, in order to make these, they have to be made in very, very clean rooms. See, now they're even built. These are what goes into your computers nowadays, your small phones, your little handheld devices. These are about as small. This would probably hold about 16,000 bits of memory. Um, so, in order to build them this small, you can have an idea of what it could possibly take to contaminate something like that. Um, here I took some uh, pictures that were taken from a microscope using a 50x, 100x, and 400 times what your normal vision is. Uh, the first pictures are on a cell phone pixel. Uh, the second one is like a whisker, dad's whiskers from their mustache or something. Let me shave. See how big that is. Uh, these are particles of dirt at 50, 100, and 400x, and these are particles of salt. Salt is a really high contaminant that's everywhere. You might not think so, but even your touch, you have a lot of saline in your hands and salt particles that can ruin these chips. Now here are some microchip structures. That first picture came out kind of dark at 100x. And there's a Pentium Logic, and these are at 50 and 100x, and there's a well, they call them SRAMs. Um, they're your, like, memory on your computer. It's a memory chip. And that's just the memory area that it's pointing to on there. And that's at a 400 times your normal site. So you can imagine what one little piece of particle would wipe one of those memories out. So to build these things, they have to have very, very clean rooms. Um, These things hold about 16,000 bits of memory, and they have some that even hold more now. Uh, the line and space sizes on the wire, I'll call it wiring, uh, is like three microns on some of the newer ones. Here's a picture of one, some particles on one with a scanning electron microscope. You cannot even begin to see this. Um, this is probably just a little piece of lint that we can't see, but it got in one of these metal leads and broke it. Before you had wires that connected. Now we have these micro uh, metal leads that are put on there, and we're not going to go into how that's done, but that's a good seven, ten minute speech. <laughs> but um, 
just one little piece of particle could break this. And you, we probably wouldn't catch this as it went out. As you would catch it on a microscope unless it was put on a piece of equipment like this, which uh, they probably check one lot, one out of ten, and uh, one of these has uh, like could have 250 chips on it. You might check one out of ten of those. This is an aerosol type particle, probably from someone sneezing or something. I mean, that's just one of the micro particles you didn't see. Um, this is a clean room and how it works uh, to keep particles off these things. Uh, they go through actually three filters before it goes through a HEPA filter, which removes 99.997% of your particles. The airflow is always flowing down. You have raised floors, and then it continues to flow on around and back through the filters. That makes any particle that's floating around goes to the ground. So nothing is floating around that you can't see in these clean rooms. Um, the human factor, see, someone sneezes, look how many particles you it throws all over. Well, to keep the particles down from humans, I mean, people are dressed, the only, there's nothing showing. You have glasses, you have hoods, you have masks, you have gloves. So that's how it keeps the human particles down. This is actually a manufacturing area uh, with yellow lights um, because it's a photo area, but you can see how clean this thing is. I mean, if you want to work in an environment where you won't get sick, this is the environment to be in. Um, so, to sum it all up, I suggest, as you can see from the small particles that can cause problems that we don't always get caught before they're sent out, Go ahead and buy your warranties. It'll be worth it, because if they're going to have a problem, we usually go wrong the first two years. Okay.